soldiers to try to crush the guerrilla attacks. And this reminds me of the difference between chess and the Chinese game of Go. Chess is very much attrition based. You start the board with many, many pieces. Uh, over the game, they're eliminated. And at the end, you've only got a few pieces left standing. The object of chess is to force your opponent to surrender by eliminating his pieces. Each piece has its own rank and can only move in a specific way. The goal of chess is to kill the king. In contrast to that, uh, the Chinese game of Go starts with a board empty, uh, and you use as few pieces as possible to acquire as much territory as you can. And in that sense, it's a very resource-efficient strategy. The object of Go is not the destruction of the opponent's force, but the conquest of space. The goal of Go is to capture the most territory with the least number of stones. Using a Go-like strategy, Sun Tzu decides where and when he fights. He avoids the strongest part of Nang Hua's army and attacks where it is weakest. Sun Tzu's guerrilla tactics against the Chu forces echo throughout history. But it's during an infamous war more than 2,000 years later that they resonate most loudly and where Sun Tzu's ultimate secret becomes most evident. It's the mid-1960s, and the world's greatest superpower battles North Vietnamese communists in a country smaller than the state of Montana. General William Westmoreland, a hard-nosed World War II combat officer, sees the battlefield like a chessboard, where armies stand and fight head-on. But unlike chess, Vietnam has no clear objective for Westmoreland to attack. It's a classic case of a general fighting the last war and in the sense that the lessons he had learned there only applied partially uh, to Vietnam. There were no fixed uh, objectives to be taken. There were no fixed units to be destroyed. No one understands this better than North Vietnamese General Vo Nguyen Giap, who sees Vietnam, like Sun Tzu would, as a go board. Instead of facing the overwhelming U.S. military directly, he uses insurgent forces the Viet Cong to stage hit and run attacks all over the country. We see something very similar to Sun Tzu's raids into Chu in North Vietnamese tactics and operations in the Vietnam War. Giap has learned Sun Tzu's principle that it is more important to outthink your enemy than to outfight him. And its tactics and strategy not overwhelming firepower that causes the U.S. to ultimately lose the war in Vietnam, a loss that Sun Tzu predicted thousands of years earlier.